Brothers and sisters, this is the nation we can create when we stand together and not let people divide us. What does it mean to live a moral life? I certainly have a very strong sense of our moral and human, uh, what should we say, fiber, something that is um, spiritual, that is kind of beyond um, uh, our actual grasp. The whole press thing is, oh, you guys are too fringe to cover, is actually the terror that if we do get covered, uh, we're going to win this thing because this is where the public is, even back in 2002. That is why they cannot afford to cover us because when socialists and greens actually get into debates, we generally win. When we talk about morality and when we talk about justice, we have to understand that there is no justice when so few have so much and so many have so little. There is no justice when the top one-tenth of one percent owns almost as much wealth as the bottom 90%. Millions of people are working long hours for abysmally low wages, working hard, but unable to bring in enough money to adequately feed their kids. There is no justice when the United States of America has the highest rate of childhood poverty of any major country on earth. How can we talk about morality, about justice, when we turn our backs on the children of our country. We have in this country sufficient amounts of money to put more people in jail than any other country on earth. But apparently, we do not have enough money to provide jobs and education to our young people. We are the only major country on earth that does not guarantee health care to all people as a right. All of God's children, the poor, the wretched, they have a right to go to a doctor when they are sick. I want you to think of what this great country can be. We can be a nation which joins other nations around the world in guaranteeing health care to all people as a right. We can be a nation in which working parents can get quality, affordable child care. We can be a nation in which every American, regardless of his or her income, can get a college education. We can be a nation in which every senior lives out their lives in dignity and security. We can be a nation in where everyone, no matter their race, their religion, their disability or their sexual orientation, realizes the full promise of equality that is our birthright as Americans. Brothers and sisters, this is the nation we can create when we stand together and not let people divide us. The free market of electoral candidates was ruined. Instead, you had a regulatory organization, the DNC, abusing its regu regulatory function to favor one candidate above another, including by pumping out uh, black media right. campaigns, black media campaigns trying to undermine Bernie Sanders, in complicity uh, with a lot of the media. Uh, in, and, in and that, the that has been covered. That has been
thing about the Green Party is that we are the one national party that is not corrupted by corporate money, by lobbyist money, or by super PACs. So we have the unique ability to actually stand up for what it is that the American people want, what everyday people want. That is, we have a jobs emergency and we call for an emergency jobs program that will actually solve the emergency of climate change that we are seeing in the floods and the fires and the heat waves across this country that are so uh, painful to watch right now. This is what the future looks like if we don't stand up and start doing something about it. We're the one party that's actually calling for cancer canceling student debt and bailing out a generation of young people. This is not a world that works for all of us. No society has ever survived by devouring its younger generation. Well, so where that are you? is exactly what our economy where is are doing you on right regulation? now. Make higher education free and health care is a human right and create a welcoming path to citizenship and police violence and a foreign policy that's based on international law human rights and economic justice. The history of America and the fight for human dignity is a history of struggle. They struggled because they said, I am a human being. I have rights. You can't do that to me. I need dignity. And unions were formed and people fought and people died and people were beaten and people went to jail. have a very strong sense of our moral... I would feel terrible if Donald Trump gets elected and terrible if Hillary Clinton gets elected. Donald Trump says despicable things, but Hillary Clinton has a terrifying track record. Catastrophic wars, helping destroy the social safety net, creating mass incarceration, and supporting deportations. The answer to Donald Trump is a revolutionary agenda that will end the economic misery. A Green New Deal will create 20 million jobs, halt climate change, and make wars for oil obsolete. We can cancel student debt, make health care and college free, create a welcoming path to citizenship, and end systemic racism. It's time to reject the lesser evil and fight for the greater good, like our lives depend on it, because they do. When millions of people stand up and fight, they win.